Today is the second day of the liberation fast. And I will speak a little bit about the fast because some people have, have uh, expressed concern about my health or about not being able to survive more than four days without water and, and such. I did my first four days dry fast over 20 years ago with the Lakota Indians um, of Mexico. I did many four days dry fasts with them and one 15 days and one longer. They're a bit different than what I'm doing now but since then I have come to realize that dry fasting has been a part of all traditional cultures, all native cultures has dry fasting. And even in the Abrahamic religion, you have Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, they're all going for their 40 days of fasting. And in none of those stories, they go with a jerry can of 100 liters of water. They are dry fasting. Nowadays we look at it as a story or as unique people, but the native cultures are still using dry fasting. And dry fasting is healthy and safe. Um, the mythology saying do not dry fast, you will be dead if you do not drink is a good and safe myth mythology because in order to dry fast you need to know what you're doing you cannot eat junk food be in a toxic environment and and just stop eating and drinking you will you will overwhelm your body with the amount of toxic toxicity that is going to run amok in your system so you need to know what you're doing and how, you, how to do it. I have this, this year, I've already done one dry fast of eight days and one of nine days and a cleansing, a water cleansing and a juice <laughs> cleansing and liver and kidney and gallbladder. So I have prepared myself to be able, inshallah, to do this this fast um, without without any difficulties and I if there will be any difficulties any signs of problems of course I will stop I have medical being I am accompanied by 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 doctors and I am monitored but I also know what I'm doing the most important things about dry fasting is to be calm is to know that it's going to be fine, is to be relaxed. It's, it's the best way to do it, which is what I have learned from the Lakota Indians, is to do it med meditating. The Lakota Indians, you are going to the mountains, you disconnect from everything, and you meditate during the fast. During those videos, obviously I cannot meditate. I will have to... Eventually, maybe, I will stop doing the videos also because it's using too much water for my body to speak. Um, but I hope that the positive reactions, the, the information, the positivity of doing those videos will compensate for the fact that I should have been actually meditating in, in order to, to give my body the best possible support in the healing process. All, all those amazing things that I'm speaking about, which are essential for a good and healthy dry, long dry fast, obviously do not exist in, in any way or form. The stress that the bodies, the people in Raza are facing, without the famine, without the lack of water, none of us would have survived it. 
only the stress of having, of being displaced, of having so many of your family members assassinated, of worrying about your children, or not being able to, to sleep, that alone can kill a person. So adding on top of it famine and contaminated water, no one can, can survive that. Um, and I want to point out also the difference between fasting and starvation. Fasting is depriving the body of food and water or only food depending on the kind of fast. And, and that can be a very healing process because the body switches its modus operandi to, to a different state, which is the state of of protecting the, the inner organ, of using internal water instead of external water, of autophagy, of using the energy from from cells which are a bit destroyed, um, of cancer cells, of you know protecting the healthy cells. All this mechanism only exists while you're fasting. While you're eating a little bit, you, you're in mode of starvation. And in that, that mode of starvation, it means that the body is still functioning normally and looking for, for input, and the input is not coming. And there you will damage your organs. So please, it is very important to do this distinction. My doctor claims that it is so much healthier to fast when you're fasting and then to eat well when you're eating rather than eat a little all the time so he says like if you're if you're hiking and you see a river and a few berries and you have you haven't got any food with you it is healthier to just drink and not eat and then when you have access to food you feed as then the body moves from fasting to eating and not constantly in, in the stage of starvation. This is from my doctor. Of course, I'm not a doctor, neither a doctor nor a biochemist, and which is why I'm not going into the details, although I've read about them a lot. If anyone is really interested about fasting, after I term and conclude this fast, I can pass things, information books, a recommendation about farther reading. This is not not the, the thread in order to do that right now. I, I want to add a remark that I will not do in any other of the days. Um, this beautiful kofiya, which has become a symbol for the struggle for the liberation of Palestine, of the global south, from colonialism, from oppression, from racism, from inequality. Um, it's made by Hilbawi in Khalil in Palestine. I had many of them and I gave them all away. So I'm only going to have this one with me for, for right now. And what I wanted to say is, buy from Hibawi. Um support Palestine. I will put a link to the website, and they, if you look in the distributors, they have distributors all over the world. And instead of buying cheap coffees from China, which is also an option, but if you can afford it, it's a bit more expensive if you can afford to support Palestinian industry. Let's do that until tomorrow. And please, if you have more questions, don't be shy to ask and, and join me in whatever capacity you have. Liberation Fest.